then they refill your body with chemicals. It kind of stops you from decomposing. Hi, I'm Matt from Tabi Taro, and I want to talk to you today about death and some interesting facts from the death industry. Hi, welcome back. Um, the death industry. I've been watching a lot of TikTok videos about uh, about death and dying. And um, one of the ladies I follow is a hospice nurse, and a lot of them are, um, are uh, funeral directors. Um, you know, they have they have they are morticians, and I have found out so many really really interesting things about the business of death. And they've got these contact lens things. They look like big contact lenses, but on the outside, they've got little hooks, tiny little hooks. And what they do is they open your eye, they put this thing in, and then they, they literally pull your eyelid over the little hooks and the bottom, and then the hooks keep your eyes closed. They have a similar thing for the mouth. Um, in the old days, they used to like basically stitch your mouth together. They still do it, but they're more advanced things that you can use. The other thing that they've got is a very, very special glue. And that also, they literally glue the eyelids shut and they glue the, the mouth. So they'll glue on the inside of your lips. Um, so it looks as if you're just kind of going a bit of a pass. But inside there is all glued. Okay. So I thought that was quite fascinating. The other thing I found fascinating is all the, the stuff that they use, the embalming fluids and that sort of thing. One of the embalming fluids actually has, is, it's bright red. Okay. Um, just quickly for those who don't know what embalming is, it's where they basically pump all the blood out of your body and then they refill your body with chemicals. It kind of stops you from decomposing. That's the short end of the, of the, the short story. So they've got this stuff and it's, it's, excuse the pun, blood red. And the reason they use it as red, because I was thinking, okay, why don't they just use like a clear liquid? The reason is that your heart obviously stopped pumping and it doesn't pump um, blood, which is red, through your, through your body. So your body turns either ashen white or it goes blue or green or motley or whatever, like it looks like it's bruised. And so they need to flush your system with this red dye, in, in effect, um, so that your corpse looks flushed and beautiful, like you are alive. The other thing they do is one of the ladies got a question, um, you know, do you, if, if I die, what happens to my boob implants and my fake nails and my false eyelashes and all of that? And the, the short story is quite simple. You will be buried with it. There's none of this, um, oh, you know, going to your, your boob implants will explode and that sort of thing. If you want to be buried, with, uh, cremated with those, you can do it. You know, they can bury you with your, your boob implants. And yes, they probably will melt. And your nails and everything probably melt. But they don't suddenly take all of the stuff out of you, off you, that sort of thing. Um, okay. You can basically be buried dressed any way you want, especially if you're having an open casket. You can get some a professional makeup artist to come and do your makeup. You can get your own personal hairdresser to come out and, and do your hair. Um, there, there's, there are things that you can do that you just stipulate, that's what I want done. Um, and the funeral director um, or the funeral home can't actually say, no, you can't do that, you know, unless, of course, it goes against the law of that particular area of that country. Um, you don't have to be cremated or buried. There are different ways of, um, of being interred, as they say. And these are very new, and I, I, I'm assuming they're very expensive. I must be honest, I didn't go and check the price. But one of the things that fascinates me is something called aquamation. And aquamation is the same as cremation. It's just that it's done in water. So what they do, essentially, is they take your body, they pop it into this giant kettle-like thing. It actually looks like a, a big um, sort of geezer, you know, like a big um, sort of geezer that you use in your, have in your roof. And then they put lye in it with water and then it, it kind of activates and it, it, it's like a big washing machine really. And uh, it bubbles along and um, I'm not sure how long it takes. It's like 72 hours or something and your body actually disintegrates and it turns into a lovely thick soup, which they basically then just wash down the drain. Okay, uh, that's called aquamation. And then, of course, they've got these really cool things where you can actually have your body put into like a seed pod. It's like a giant big seed pod. And they actually bury you in that. And um, inside that is a tree, is, is tree seeds, I suppose. And um, you will actually be the fertilizer to feed the tree and then the tree will grow. I love that idea. I think it's gorgeous. 
Um, but these things are very expensive. It's like, I don't know if you know this, but you can take ashes of your loved one and you can actually have them made into all different kinds of things. You can actually have them made into a, a, a diamond, I think it is, or some kind of precious stone. Um, by they, they compress it or they do something to it and it turns into a diamond or a precious stone or whatever. And you can actually wear that as, as jewelry. Um, you know, it, it, fascinating stuff like that. There are all kinds of weird things that you can do. Um, a lot of people actually um, like to be buried at sea. It is, however, illegal to take your loved one's um, ashes and throw them into the sea, whether you're on a boat or not. Um, it is illegal to throw ashes on unconsecrated ground, as it were. Um, I know apparently, and this, I, I laughed at this, apparently a lot, of, a lot of people all over the world, they um, have their ashes scattered inside very, very quietly and surreptitiously. They have their ashes uh, scattered inside the casino, on the casino floor uh, where they where they used to play, um, you know, one armed bandit and all that shit. Um, I found that that one was quite interesting. They literally smuggled the ashes in and just kind of dropped little bits of you like all over the floor. Um, the makeup they use is really interesting. It's a completely, obviously it's not the same as, it's not your, your common everyday Estee Lauder. It's um, special makeup that they use on, the, on the, the bodies, which is awesome because it stays on and it makes you look as, as real and as preserved and as, as peaceful as what they can do. Um, obviously some bodies apparently are just beyond help. If you've been floating around in water for the last six weeks, it's there. A little bit of makeup ain't gonna do much to help you, honey. You fucking done. Okay, your days of dancing are over. So what they do there is they would probably just pop you into because you're not gonna have an open casket, so they just basically pop you into the casket and that's that. The other interesting thing that they mentioned is that a lot of people are going for green burials now. They don't want huge big mahogany um, uh, coffins with massive sort of bronze handles and that sort of thing. It's, it's kind of becoming a bit of a, of a old fashioned thing and a bit of a waste with climate change and everything. So a lot of people are opting for like natural um, cremation kind of thing. I'm speaking a lot about cremation because that's the, kind of like what I've been, I've been watching. Um, and they opt to actually be cremated in a, in a box. Um, also, some people are just um, very aware of cost. And so they will buy like a cheap coffin, which is the pine coffin with sassel ropes. Um, other people actually donate their bodies. Um, and one of the in most interesting things I've ever heard of, and I think I've mentioned this before, is you can donate your body to, um, to criminal science. And they actually have body farms, which, I don't know, somebody mentioned, and I mentioned it in one of my other videos, go, and, go back and have a look at Conch Linda. And they would use your body as... Um, they will place your body on the body farm, exposed or half buried or whatever, and they will see for criminal investigation what happens to your body. And therefore, it helps with um, solving other crimes that I found fascinating. So yeah, death. Death is going to come to all of us. It's inevitable. And um, I think we all just have to be ready for it. And I just enjoy watching these like little snippets because it kind of makes death seem really interesting or after death. It just makes it seem really really interesting okay guys comment down below if you have any comments it's not really like a i don't want to hear about like deaths in your family but just comment down below what you thought of this video um and yeah if you have if you come across anything between now and the next video just pop a, pop a comment and let's say like wow you know you can also do x y and z you know you don't have to be cremated or buried or liquefied liquefied um pop me a comment you know i love comments you know i love reading stuff from you guys so that was just a little off-the-cuff one, which I thought was quite interesting. And that from Chubby Terror, I will see you next Tuesday, I think it's going to be, for some more 10 Talk. Bye. <laughs>